So we've stopped in at Cal S A. Why? Because there's water a park. free water park and it's oh. and it looks fun. It does. It looks amazing. It's actually surprising that it looks so good because it's free. <laughs> Well, the water parks in um, Darwin are free. Not the wave pool, right? No, not the wave pool. Yeah, You've got to pay for that. Yeah. But the other ones with the slides, they're free. Those were cool slides. I don't remember. It's where when you got you... your chip done, tooth chip. <gasps> that was free? Yeah. No wonder why. No wonder why she got a tip, chip. Tip. Tip. Tongue twister. You know you did that. Watching you. <laughs> hey, we'll just totally park here, I think. Alright. Yep. Let's do it. Yep. Hey, so I flicked over to my phone just to make life a little bit easier, uh, especially when we're I'm gonna probably try and take some stuff at this water park. Um pretty sweet spot. We kind of decided not to drive in. Looks like there's parking down in through there that we might be able to snag. Man, it's way easier when you can just find a spot out the back. So we'll just walk over. Kids are getting changed, and then we're gonna head off. We'll see you at the water park. Is your sister coming down the same one? Yeah. All right. You weren't even under it, you sook. All right, enjoy the water park. All right, well, while the kids are having a play, I'm gonna go for a little wonder, get a coffee at this little coffee shop up here. I can't remember what it's called, but it looks nice. Yes. All right, Blooming Brew, let's see what you've got. What you got there, Pants? Well, somebody's bed stinks. And we're not talking about Ryan or Isabel. Although their bed could probably do with a freshen up too. Yeah, they have freshen up I know, we'll get to that soon. <laughs> um, so what I used to do when we lived in the house is like once a month, I'd go through and I'd do everybody's beds, including the dogs. I don't do it as often on the road, especially our beds. It's just too hard. Um, but what I've done is I've got some bicarb and I put some lemon essential oil and some litzia oil to help draw out the smell of somebody's bed because the whole caravan stinks like dog. So if you're traveling with somebody's your, bed, if you're traveling with your dog, you would know that you can't often wash their blankets or their bedding in caravan parks and a lot of laundromats. So this is like a quick hack sprinkle it on, put it in the sun for a couple of hours, shake it off or vacuum it off and it kind of, it at least destinkifies. Mm. <laughs> smells nicer so, than the dog at the moment. Yeah, so I'm just going to sprinkle it on and mm. Bob's your uncle. I guess while you're doing that you might as well say what we're doing. Swimming. Well where, where are we? Oh we're in Tumbley Bay. Tum Tumbley? Tumbley. 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 Tumbly. <laughs> I did that last time. <laughs> Tumbly. Tumbly Bay. Tumbly Bay. Yep. It's we're just nice. it's beautiful. We're staying at the caravan park it's hot. for a couple of nights. Yeah. Um we're gonna go for a swim later, Jenny's apparently. Closed off. I noticed that on the drive mm. in. Um so Ryan can't I mean he might be able to try and do his squidding just in the water. I'll figure that out. He was hoping to do his squid jigging off the jetty. So that's probably not gonna happen. Um, there might be somewhere else though. Mm. Hopefully. Lots of really time. Lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah. The beach looks beautiful. We'll yeah. show everybody that in a little bit. When I'm feeling better, I'll jump on the stand up paddleboard. Mm. I'll do it today for you. Make sure it's safe. Okay. Make sure it's safe. All right. <laughs> well, let's do this bed. 
<laughs> Stinky. They're really squeezed in there. Hey guys, so it's a beautiful day here in Tumby Bay. Everybody's still in bed. Um, gonna do something a little bit different and do like a lifestyle vlog kind of thing uh, and see how that goes. We've had a few people ask for more day to day stuff rather than just like, oh hey, we're here and hey, we're here. So we're gonna do that and see how we go. Uh, first off, I'm gonna duck into town, get some cash so we can do some washing at the caravan park here. But I'll quickly show you the wrap bags and Tash. Everybody is still in bed. It's 9.30. Looks like I'm on my own. So I'll take you into town, we'll um, grab some cash, come back, do some washing and stuff. Morning. Morning. <laughs> I'll see you in five, we'll have a coffee when I get back. I guess while I'm out, I'll give you a little rundown on the town. Uh, Tumby's a little tiny town. Um, kind of, it's probably about, I don't know, 40 kilometers from Port Lincoln down the very bottom of the Air Peninsula. Um, really, really nice little town with beautiful, beautiful beaches. The, so I've just got to fix this quickly. Oh, it'll be alright. Uh, the town itself has like the essentials, like a little food land or a food works I think it's a food land um, coffee shops it's really quite cute and like I said the beaches are spectacular we'll take the kids for a swim today and um, show you that as well yesterday we went on a little adventure down to Port Lincoln to the Lincoln National Park um, I only had like a quick couple of hours there so we didn't really get to look at everything. I'll take you through the middle of town now on the way to the ATM if they've even got one here and then go back do some washing and we'll figure out what we're going to do for the day. Maybe some schoolwork, and then I think it'll definitely be a beach afternoon because man it is stunning down here today. Check this out. Let's look at it. So here's the pub. Here's where we got some fish and chips the other night. That was pretty good. There's a little cafe on the foreshore just here. A little coffee shop cafe. If I can even get it to think about what it's doing. Might have to hit that on the way back. Beautiful little town. Anyhow, here's the cafe. 
to swing past that now. Here's a little cafe on the foreshore. There's also a little cafe um, around the back here too. Hopefully I can find some other bits and pieces. Post office, news agent that sells a whole heap of other stuff and I think it's got a, gro a grocer in it too. Swing left, here's the um, pharmacy. Food land, just coming up on the left up here. Out of 10, it's like, it's quite a lot for a little town. Oh, I'm actually quite surprised. Actually forgot to mention that there's like three coffee shops here. Little see something or other. Here I think is the only ATM in town. It's Bank SA, I don't bank with them, it's going to cost me a fortune, but I mean, when you're going to do washing, you're going to do washing right. I'll go get that, I'll be back, I'll take his back, and we'll figure out what. Well, that's the bank done. Um, let's just head back, do some washing, do some schoolwork, and then probably hit the beach, I reckon. Well, that's it, I got my pocket full of coins. Some places don't actually give you it to you in like. Oh bags or anything so 20 bucks worth of change um let's go do this washing and have some breakfast just a quick one so because we've got the kunga machine we also make our own washing detergent just by pressing this button so we don't actually carry washing detergent anymore um but yeah i'll just make that up quickly if it's going to flow because the water pressure is garbage here Well, that's the washing on. Let's get some coffee into us and then start our day, I reckon. Tash on, on YouTube putting up a short for me because this video is not going to go up for about three months. <laughs> but she's doing a short on the Joby for me just to see if anyone is going to give us a little hand on it. We'll just see what happens, eh? In the meantime, making coffee. Kids are going to get out their schoolwork because they've had breakfast. And they're going to do some schoolwork this morning before we go to the beach. quickly as well so I'm having decaf instead of caffeinated coffee these days uh, I had a wicked headache for I don't know three days maybe because I've only really started in the last couple of days so Tash suggested to <coughs> use the jing that we've got up here for the um, the super feast jing to see if that will help with my issues because man caffeine headaches are the worst <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't you? <laughs> really had it What's that? I don't think I've really ever had it before. Mm. I've not really been a massive coffee drinker. Like, I detoxed off of coffee. I have, like, three a day. <laughs> I detoxed off of coffee to help my, like, adrenal glands and my energy levels. Hmm. Which maybe I had a headache then, but I was using the gin, so I don't remember having a headache. Hmm. See, I've got some gin in it today. We'll see if that helps when I have like three more. Oh, I'm slaving away making tea. Watching stuff on YouTube. Guess what I'm watching. What are you watching? Eamon and Beck. Oh yeah? <laughs> what you always watch. Put out another video. 
I've been waiting for ages. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? So the kids are doing some schoolwork with Tash. I'm doing a little bit of editing um, for the hot tub. Um, so Condale hot tub. Uh, when we did a hip camp there, I've actually I've started doing that one. So this is it here. I'll um, pop it in if you haven't seen it. I'll put a little card here for you to have a little squiz. But yeah, I thought I'd make the most of some time while Tash is doing the schoolwork. I'll edit some videos uh, and get them prepped ready for everybody while we're waiting for the washing to get done. It's pretty, um, people don't, I guess, I guess this type of thing isn't really shown that much um, when it comes to like all these travel vlogs and bits and pieces. They don't really show all the little bits and pieces that you do behind the scenes a lot of the time, like video editing or... You know, doing the dishes or making a cup of coffee or doing the washing like it's not all glamorous it's wonderful it's a wonderful life but um, it's definitely not all as glamorous as you think I'll um, take you out I'll show you what you, Tash and the kids are doing and then I'm gonna crack in and get this done and I think after lunch the plan will be to take the kids for a swim just gotta put my little filter on quickly It's in manual focus. Try that again. How's schooling going? Good. We've just started really, yeah? They're, they're what are like, we learning about? They're, um, making like a recipe. Yeah. So like restaurants have house special recipes, they're making their own house special recipe. With potato in it? Uh, no, potato <laughs> is because a green potato is toxic to eat, as most of us know. Yeah. Because when it sits in the sun, it gets more chlorophyll and um, we are going to watch it as it sits in the sun for a few weeks, apparently. Oh, I don't know how we're going to go moving that around with the caravan. <laughs> I find a lot of these things, unfortunately, they just get skipped. <laughs> it's just like if we had a house, this potato would be fine. But we're not going to drag a stinky potato in the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when we're going to cross the border soon. We actually won't be able to take your stinky potato, Isabel. Well, we can see if it goes green before we go over yeah, Just the chuck border. it out in the sun for a day or two. He's got a face. And then, sorry, I cut you off. So what else are you doing? It does have a face. That's it at the moment. So they're going to do their house recipe for a restaurant. Yeah. Well, you guys enjoy that. I'm going to go oh, do a little bit me. of video editing, I think. Messy. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is it lab books or messy books? Lab books. Okay. Alright, I'll leave you guys to it. I'll come back out in a little bit. Bliss is doing what she does best, aren't you? Lying on people's clothes and lying in bed. What are you doing? Literally drooled <laughs> everywhere. Disgusting. <laughs> we gave up on schoolwork. Yeah, sometimes you just um, can't do it when you need the internet, and the internet just doesn't Take seem to want to do it. <laughs> yeah. We do have our um, internet dongle thing on the way. Yay! So hopefully that may fix some of our issues. If not, we might have to ditch Telstra and tell them that all their products suck. And then maybe go and see if we can get a Starlink instead. Isabel's floating. But we'll see. We're My about floating. done with the internet, I think. I'm not 
much as our phones to pay out. For what? Yeah. Because we only just got them. Yeah. Is it best floaty versus my floaty? Alrighty, floaty. It's all good. The kids are going to blow up their stuff. Is we might have some lunch and then we'll go for a swim in a little bit. Yep. No, after lunch. After lunch. After lunch. What's up? Off to, off to the beach. After all of our stuff with the kids' floaties. Let's do it. Well, it works yeah, when good. it's not super windy. on the beach isn't <laughs> yeah. super windy. Unless like Stacy said you have one that has a bottom on it and you put bricks inside. But then it's probably just gonna be blown over on its side anyway. Yeah. Tash just said she's surprised at how much sand goes into the legs. Yeah. I mean, it's good. You want a big bucket of it. Yeah. And then, she just showed me all these sweet pockets where I can put my shit. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> I'm going for a swim. Alright Diddley, we're done at the beach this afternoon for our little dip without mum. Yeah. Thoughts on this beach? It's nice. Warm. And really I, warm. I like the floaty thing out there. Yeah, the for jumping. I actually got videos of you guys doing that. Huh? Your foot, this is like, oh, this is good. Yes, you did. Oh, you have cut your foot. Well, that's it. We're back from the beach and Tash just said something amazing. Yes, you did. No. Yeah, go on. No. Tell everybody how great I am. <laughs> anyway. I said thank you for being amazing. Ryan is super pumped. We went to, sorry, Ooh. I'll click these up. I'm super pumped. <laughs> We're all pretty pumped. We went to the food land and it's, we haven't seen these before. I, they're backwards, but you kind of get the drift, right? Look it is compared to my head. Yeah, gluten free. It's the size of my head. Old El Paso wraps. So. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna smash some some massive burritos tonight for dinner, I think, yeah. and really fill them. Mine won't be massive. Oh, it's gonna be. <laughs> anyway, beach was beautiful. I'm assuming you've already seen that. Yeah. Um, now I think we'll just chill here for a little while until dinner. Nice little easy relaxing afternoon of not much. I might go and do a little bit of video editing again because I didn't really get much done this morning. The kids are doing laps, going for a run and doing laps. So when they come past, so damn it, I can't believe it. every time I do, I press the wrong button. So when they come past, I'll um, I'll get them for you. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll get a hard drive for you. Wait for the kids. And I need the mouse pad. Yep. It's nice to be able to work outside. like, you know, work on the road, van life, it's so amazing, but the realities are that you argue with the computer, you argue with the internet, you can't sit outside most of the time because it's blowing a gale, it's raining, there's mozzies, there's midges, <laughs> the glare's too bad. Yeah, there's so much <laughs> glare on my phone. Yeah. I thought you were going to do more on the computer. Oh no, I'm done. I can't <laughs> do any more either, I don't think. My back's had enough of sitting. Yeah, they're not the most ideal chairs. No, to table. be trying to do working. Maybe the table height needs to be better. I must say, having this and then the mm. separate keyboard makes my life 
a lot whole easier. lot better because I can kind of like sit back in the chair which is good but scheduled up to the 25th pumping out mm. some photos I got a whole heap of YouTube videos uploaded and <laughs> one nearly finished too but it has been lovely to sit out here. It's been nice sitting outside. And do some so content. Nice. Really lovely. I'm going to have a shower. Yeah, I think we might get everybody to do showers and then let's have dinner. Yeah, I need to wash my hair. Ooh. Strangler. <laughs> What'd you say? My hat. <laughs> About the wraps? Wow, wow, we were holding majoli. Huge. That's what she said. <laughs> Eating who? Oh! <laughs> We're gonna crack into these wraps. Everything's pretty much ready. So we've got our Moroccan chicken. We've got our. Are you right? What so is it? We've got our chicken. We've got our um, salad -y stuff. Avocado. Got a little bit of rice to go with it. We're just going to give it a crack and see how we go. I think it's going to be pretty good. Holy moly. Does it work? Hmm. It's falling apart. Not yet. A little bit, but not really anymore. Like that's a piece of cucumber. Yeah. So it's not any more than a disgusting gluten wrap would be. <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken a video of the one in Warrnambool. <laughs> Is that the best bit in the whole movie, Isabel? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our latest video. If you liked it, make sure you click subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video.